Hey YouTube, what's going on? Prepared to wander down the man cave today. It's a rainy Sunday, not a lot going on, so I thought I'd do a, a review from the bench top and show you something that I just got in the mail this week. Um, I was fortunate enough to win this, <clears throat> which is awesome. I can't believe I won it. It's, it's an awesome prize, and uh, we're going to take a look at it in depth today, so stick around. So what are we looking at today? Well, this is the Best Glide ASE Ultimate Adventurer Survival Kit, the Advanced Kit. And like I said before, I won this on a forum. Uh, a member on, on the Bushcraft USA forum was gracious enough to give this away to, to one lucky winner. My name was selected, and this is what I get. So I have not opened this up to look at it yet. <clears throat> I don't know what's inside of it. Um, but from what I understand, Best Glide has a, a really nice uh, assortment of survival supplies. So maybe I want to check their website out and see what they're all about. Um, I don't even know how much this kit costs, but I'm, I'm sure it costs uh, quite a bit just based on this container. The container is super nice. So we got a metal container with roller locks on it. It's got a gasket, so it's going to make it water tight or water resistant. I don't know if it's waterproof, but it certainly will help. And let's get into the contents. Looks like we have, first of all, some type of instruction sheet. This is some basic survival instructions. Finding your way, how to use a uh, signaling mirror, Building a shelter with a with a blanket, uh, a mylar blanket. There's some first aid instructions. So just some general survival first aid tips in a little, like a little manual. Okay, next we have this package of Prio Pack, a safe heat source. For ration components, use a ventilated area. Squeeze out gel and light. Fill canteen cup with water. Place canteen cup over burning gel. Shield from wind. So it's basically a fire starter or a, a fire source. So you could actually heat up this container maybe if you had to um, heat some water up. Then we have a basic first aid kit. So we got some ibuprofen in there, non-aspirin, moleskin, various band-aids. We have a Right and Rain Universal Notebook. Looks like we have a sheet of heavy-duty aluminum foil. A lot of uses for that. Making a container, cooking in it. Basic wire saw. Not one of my favorite components in a survival kit, but it's better than nothing, right? Decadent pack, desic desiccant pack, I guess is what they call it. 550 cord. Here we've got, it looks like a fishing kit. There's a lure, there's some line, weights, hooks. So a nice basic fishing kit. Some tinder. This is probably impregnated with some type of either wax or petroleum jelly or some kind of product like that. Sewing kit. So we got thread, buttons, safety pins, a little bit of everything, sewing needles. Some brass snare wire, always handy. Here we have a full-size ferro rod. 
with the striker. That's nice. A lot of times we put a, the, in these kits, they'll put this a mini ferro rod and they're hard to work with. So this is a nice full size one, be easy to use. This is interesting. It's like a multi-tool. Yep. <clears throat> I like the bright yellow. That's nice. It's a nice little multi-tool. It's got a variety of gadgets on it. Saw, the knife, screwdriver, and of course the pliers. Especially good working with fishing equipment, you're going to need uh, a small set of pliers. So you got that. Razor blade, yep. Whistle. It's an Acme whistle. Duct tape. A tea candle. Actually, that's a very handy item to have in a survival kit. Boom. A lot of kits don't come with a candle. It's good for starting a fire, keeping a shelter warm. Here we have a Fresnel lens so you can start a fire with it. Now what is this? <clears throat> this is a Frontier emergency filter. So this is a water filter. I'm not sure how this thing works. I'm going to have to read up on instructions on this because it, it's not apparent to me how this thing comes apart or how it works. But it is a water filter. And it's very lightweight, very small. Of course we've got a pencil to go with the notebook. Some storm matches. There's the Uco brand survival storm proof matches. These are nice. Here we have it looks like our sighting mirror for signaling. Go ahead and take that out so you can see that. Got the instructions printed right on it. That's super nice. I like that. Nice and small. Here's a, my info card you can fill out. Put your blood type, your name, your address, emergency contacts. That way if you're unconscious when someone comes upon you, you have some kind of medical information that they can at least start with, work with. Coffee filter for filtering water. Piece of material for the sewing kit. This is kind of like a heavy duty piece of Cordura or nylon. So it'd be good for patching patching your pants or a shoe or something if you have to. Aha, here we go. Here's the instructions for the Frontier straw. It is a, it is a drinking straw. So this is the straw that goes with it. Put that on there. And then you can drink through there. That's going to filter your water. So that's a nice addition to the kit, having it. We have a radiant microlight. 